I lost my head today to share the word of God. For Christ also suffered one sin for sin, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust. Jesus Christ suffered for the unjust and he was just. Jesus Christ never lied, he never did anything wrong, he was pure and he was beautiful. And because he was pure and beautiful, he died for the unjust. When they took him in the courtyard and whipped him, he was being whipped for you. When they spat at him and mocked him, he was being spat at and mocked at for you. When he died on that cross, and they nailed him to that cross, he was nailed on that cross for you. All oh, the deep, deep love of Jesus, past and measured, boundless free, rolling as a mighty ocean in his fullness over me. And the mighty love of Christ was for you on that cross. No prophet ever did that. The prophet Muhammad never did that. He never died like he did. He died for you and took the wrath that you deserve. Muhammad never died for you. Muhammad never cared for you. He cared for you. He shed his blood for you. He is the Lord that died for you and loved you and shed his blood for you. He was broken on that cross. Muhammad was never broken for you, but Jesus Christ was broken for you. He loved you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And when Christ died on that cross, he took your punishment. Every time you lied, every time you stole, every time you slept around, every time you did something wrong, Christ shed his blood for you on that cross and laid down his life for you on that cross and was broken for you on that cross. And the only way that you can be saved, the only way that you can be born again is believing in Jesus Christ. Jesus invites you today. He says, come to me, all you who are weak and devastated, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke. He says, take my yoke upon me and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Wacky backy can't save you. Why are you smoking wacky backy all the time? Spending your money on wacky backy. Why are you sleeping around? Don't sleep around. Don't be looking at porn. Have you looked at porn this week? Have you been looking at porn? Jesus Christ died for you on that cross. And he shed his blood for you on that cross. He said this, For whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you call upon him today, if you call upon him and say, Lord, save me, your Savior. When you're lonely, when you're finding it hard, when it's difficult, and you cry out to Jesus, he'll hear your prayer. Muhammad cannot hear you. Allah cannot hear you, but Jesus can. He can hear you because he's the Savior that died and rose again. Jesus loved you. He gave himself for you. And he beckoned you come free. Flee from hell. Flee from the wrath of God. Flee from the judgment to come. There is a hell, a judgment, a punishment, a wrath, a hell to escape, a judgment to escape. Flee it, my friend. Flee it. Turn away from hell. Turn away from judgment and turn to Christ and trust him. Trust him as your Lord. Trust him as your Savior. Oh, please believe him. Please don't go to hell. You're going to go to hell if you keep lying, if you keep stealing, if you keep committing adultery, if you keep looking at porn, if you keep lying, if you keep stealing. You're cursed in the name of God by worshipping Allah. You worship Jesus Christ. You're blaspheming God when you worship Allah. But worship Jesus. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. So trust him as your Lord and trust him as your Savior. Only he can save you. Allah is death. 
Allah is blind. Allah is dead. Jesus Christ is alive. He is the King of Kings and the light of the world. He is the bread of life. He is the King of Kings. Allah is dead. Allah is blind. Allah is not God. Jesus is God. Jesus died and rose again. You blaspheme God by worshipping Allah. You worship Jesus Christ the Savior. You worship Christ as Lord. You blaspheme God by following Muhammad the Prophet. You follow Jesus Christ the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is the one that died. He is the one that rose again. He is the one that can save you. Prophet Muhammad is dead. His bones are in the ground. Buddha is dead. Charles Darwin is dead. All the great atheists are dead. But Jesus Christ is alive. He can save you today. He can give you life today. He can give you purpose today. Joy today. Allah is dumb and deaf and blind. Allah is dead. But Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. He is alive today. Alive, reigning, and he's coming back. So get ready, my friends, and trust him today. Trust him as your Lord. Trust him as your Savior. Muhammad is a false prophet. Allah is blind. He is dead, and he is dumb. And God is the true God, Jesus Christ the Savior. He died and rose again. He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are to worship him. Not Muhammad, not Allah, but Jesus Christ. Are you, Jewish? you must not worship them. They are false prophets, false gods. Prophet Muhammad said, worship three gods. In Tobari, in Tobari, he said, worship three gods. And Saudi, and Salman Rushdie said this, and now a fatwa is still on his head to this day. How can you have a debate when a fatwa is on your head? How can you debate when there is a fatwa on your head? How? Answer me. How can you debate someone when they put a fatwa on your head? Jesus Christ loved you. He died for you. He shed his blood for you. He gave his life for you. And he is alive with life and joy and peace and love. And Allah is no real God. Prophet Muhammad is no real prophet. He is a false prophet. He has lied to you. He has lied to you. He says that he had revelations. Who said? Who saw Prophet Muhammad? Who was there when the so-called angel Gabriel came to him? Who was there? Nobody but him. It's his word. And he's like this. Uh, I've seen the, the prophet. I've seen an angel. And he was like a schizophrenic. If you look at when the Holy Spirit comes, he brings joy and peace. He doesn't make you go like that, like a schizophrenic. Jesus Christ come to give you hope and life and joy. Muslims, I've said hard things, but I can back it up with academic sources. We have academic sources to debate any of your Muslim scholars, and they won't come and debate us. They pick on young Christians who cannot debate. They pick on young Christians who don't know the hadiths. We have the hadiths. We have the evidence. And you cannot refute that evidence. Jesus Christ loved you and shed his blood for you. He gave his life for you. He loved you and died for you on that cross. So come to him. It says, for whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can be saved today. Let Christ save you. Let Christ save you today. Let Christ bring you home today. Let Christ save you today. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe, he is condemned. My friends, believe in Jesus Christ tonight, today. Trust him today while you can. He'll give you life. He loves you so much. He wants you to have life and joy and peace and hope today. He wants to set you free from false religion, from deceptive. Here's deception. The Muslims say this. The Muslims say this. Listen to this, what the Muslims say. The Muslims say, Bible is changed, right? The Muslims say, Bible changed. Did you know that there are verses that have been taken out of the Quran? Did you know that? There are verses that were taken out of the Quran in the early days of the Prophet Muhammad. So, 
I'm telling you lies, my friends. The Bible's not changed. It's the Word of God. It'll set you free. Jesus loves you. He died for you. Trust Him today. Trust Him as your Lord. Life, hope, joy, peace today. That's what you can have. Joy and peace. You can be set free today. Set free from lies. You've been deceived. These Muslim apologists are deceiving you. They are deceiving you. All of these Muslim apologists are deceiving you. They don't debate the mature Christians. Notice these, these Muslim apologists pick on young Christians. They put their videos on YouTube and they think they're great intellects. My friends, Jesus loved you. He died for you. You've been deceived. You need his love today. You need to be set free today. There's joy in him, peace in him. I'll tell you a story. This woman, she left home and she became a prostitute. She became a prostitute. She became a prostitute. And she lived in Puerto Rico. Her mom was broken hearted and went to find her and couldn't find her. So she left pictures of herself all over the hotels. And she came home broken hearted. Then her daughter came down the stairs with a client because she was a prostitute and she went into the toilet and she saw a picture of her mum she opened the picture of her mum and looked at the back and she read this word I don't care what you have done come home that's what God says to each one of us today I don't care what you have done come home I love you whether you're black or white whether you're gay or, or not gay whether you're an atheist or Muslim or Jew I love you I died for you come home Come home to me. I'm home already. I love you. I die for you. I give my life for you. I am your savior. I'm the one that can give you life. I'm the one that can give you hope. I'm the one that can give you peace. I'm the one that can give you joy. I am the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. I am the light of the world. I am the bread of life. I am the one who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father but through me. I am the savior who loved you and shed his blood. I am God with us. Who is Muhammad? Muhammad is dead. He is dead. His bones are in that ground and he cannot hear you. He cannot save you. But my savior died. My savior died and rose again. He died and rose again. And we have the evidence for you. Okay? Let's have a debate then, sir. Let's debate me and you. Come and debate me, sir. Come and debate me. Let me give us your question, sir. Oh, it's right now. Don't you want to debate? Do you want to debate? You're attacking a person. Let's have a rational discussion. Give me some evidence Jesus didn't die on the cross. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Oh Muslim here, I respect you sir, but you haven't got any evidence sir. I'll give you some evidence Jesus died. Multiple attestation. Tacitus, Roman historian, lived in 90 AD, said he died. Josephus, lived in 70 AD, said he died. Round one, I win. Next one. Give me some evidence sir. Give me some evidence that he rose from the dead or he didn't rise from the dead. Over to you sir. No evidence. I'll give you some evidence Jesus rose from the dead. Women's testimony in the time of Jesus was not valued. It was only half that of a man. Who were the first people who saw Jesus rose from the dead? Do you know, sir? Women. Women's testimony was not worth anything compared to a man. Only half of a man. Yet it was the women that saw Jesus rise from the dead first. If you were in the time of the Jews, you would not start a new religion with women. But Christianity was started with women. Proving to you it was supernatural. Right? Right. Here's another question, sir. Has the Bible changed? Give me some evidence. Right. What's in Surah 634, sir? Muslims, what's in Surah 634? You're the ones that say the Quran has been passed on from generation to generation. You're the ones that you've said you've memorized it. I'm asking a simple question. What is in Surah 634? They're supposed to have memorized it. They don't even know what is in Surah 634. 
In Surah 634, it says, My word does not change. And it's in the context of prophets. We have some more surahs here. Surah 2946 says we believe in what was revealed to you was Surah 1827 said none can change his words so a Bible can't have been corrupted Surah 568 says Christians must stand on the gospel and Torah Surah 7157 says Muhammad is in the Bible how can this be if the Bible has been changed Surah 334 says Bible is revealed by God so how can that be if man has changed it so even in your own Quran it says the Bible has not changed. You've been deluded by Muslim friends. You need to wake up and realize that Jesus Christ loves you. God bless you and have a lovely day. God bless you.